Welcome to Pearl Snacks, where in each snack video we cover a bite-sized piece of pearl. Today's video is brought to you by Optimal Computer Solutions, the company dedicated to the excellent technical professional. Today's video will concentrate on getting user input into your program using the line input operator. I have a file open on the left side here. The file is called 4.pl because this is the fourth Pearl Snack video. And I'm gonna be taking in some input and assigning that input to a variable called var. The input is going to be retrieved using the line input operator. And the line input operator looks like this. An open angled bracket with the letters STDIN in all caps, followed by a closing angled bracket. This operator called the line input operator will cause your program to pause and wait while the user inputs a line of input. When the user hits the enter key or the return key, the line input operator takes that input into your program and continues on. Again, in this case, we're taking that input and assigning it to a variable. After assigning that input to a variable, we're going to print out contents of that variable. Let's see what happens. When I run this program, it pauses, waiting for my input. I type in my input, hit return, and it prints out that input, just as we expected. Something to note here is that it is taking all of my input, including my new line, and it prints that out. Sometimes you might take in input and you don't want to include the new line. For example, if you're taking in lines of numbers from a file, you might not want the new line included, particularly if you're going to be performing some kind of arithmetic operation with those numbers. To get rid of the new line, we'll use another Perl operator called the chomp operator. And chomp chomps off the ending new line off a line of input. Having put that chomp operator there, if I run the program again, it prints out the following. The line of input that I input, but there's no new line. So it comes back to my prompt without there being a new line between that line of input and my prompt. To get that new line back in there, I could remove the prompt or I could add a new line to the print statement like this. And there we go. The line input operator is a great way to get user input into your program. As we continue along with our Perl programming journey, we will be reading data into our Perl program from files and in many of those cases, we'll have no need for the new line. The chomp operator will come in handy when you get to that point in your Perl programming. That's it for now. That's the line input operator and that's the chomp operator, both of which you'll use a lot. As usual, if this video was helpful for you, please hit the like button, leave me any questions or comments in the comments section. Until next time, this is Daryl Pace, over and out.